Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and I have a really nice package of two and a half inch pre-cut strips of fabric and a package of in our form. Now this is a sewable foam and we know these are already cut to two and a half inches. So I'm thinking of combining the two of these and making a rainbow rug. Let's see how it turns out. My two and a half inch cut strips definitely have all of the colors of the rainbow. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to add them onto this foam. Now this foam we usually associate with making bags, but there's nothing saying we can't do a rug with this. It does have one side that is fusible. And I can tell it's fusible because I can feel the little fused dots on that one side. It is a foam that is washable. So I think it's going to make a really nice cushy rug. So my piece is 18 inches by 58 inches. So on that fusible side, I'm going to start and fuse on a background fabric. Once that fabric has been fused on to the foam, I do want to do a row of stitching to hold it down. I want to stitch all the way around to hold that backing onto the foam and I want to use less than a quarter inch seam allowance. Now I can use big basting stitches for this. I am using an edge stitch foot and for my machine it is a 10D. So I have this little bar and it's going to follow right along this edge for me. And my stitches are nice and big at a four. So I'm just going to go all the way around. Now that that basting stitch is done, I'm going to trim off all of the extra. Trimming it off now is going to help me trim it and square it up when I'm done. This is all stitched down and trimmed down so the back is ready. And having it fusible definitely is going to be helpful. I now need to get my strips ready. The width of this piece is 18 inches and it's 58 inches long. So I'm going to need some strips to fill that in. Now these are two and a half inches, which means once that quarter inch seam allowance is stitched, they're going to be two inches. Now I'm going to trim them 19 inches so I don't have to worry about the edges. So I have all of my colors laid out, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. I need a total of 29 strips, and I have a total here of 28 strips. So I need one strip, and I'm going to put that strip in the middle. And I'm going to work from the middle going out as I work on this rug. So I need to find the middle of this foam. And the easiest way is really just to fold it in half. The inner form definitely has a form to it. So it's very straight and it's secure. So it's not going to stretch like quilt batting. So I have those center pieces and that center strip is going to be centered in the middle of those center pieces. So that is going to go down first. From here, I'm going to add my colors on one side and then add the colors on the second side. So I'm going to have a double rainbow. So I'm going to put that one piece down and I'm going to pin it down until I get to the sewing machine. Now just for ease, I will only be working on one side, then I'm going to turn around and work on the second side. So I'm doing a stitch and flip method. So I do want to hold this down securely until I get to that first row. So I'm going to do two reds, two oranges, two yellows, all the way down to the very last color of violet. So I'm going to put one pile aside and work it one at a time. This is a sewable foam, which means we really can use any foot that we want. But I am going to use the walking foot. That walking foot's just going to go over top of all of these fabrics and accommodate this little extra thickness. I also will be using a dark thread so that it blends into this background. So I'm going to set up that foot and then I'm going to just match up those edges so the right sides are touching and I'm going to stitch 
a quarter inch going through all these layers. So to set up my machine, I did take half of that foam and roll it up and I just clipped it with clothespins. These are just basic clothespins you can get in the dollar store. This is just going to make it easier to get into this arm of the sewing machine. So I'm going to sew and unroll as I go along. I do have the walking foot on and I have it set to that quarter inch. I also have increased my stitches so instead of at a 2.5 they're at a 3. Now I can just line up those pieces. Now I'm going to start here and stitch down. And you can see where having this rolled is going to be really easy to get through the machine. Smooth those pieces and I'm going to start stitching a little bit off. And that's why it's nice to have that little extra hanging out on the edge. I can sew following that edge. And you can see how nice that walking foot will go over top of them. But if you don't have a walking foot, your regular foot will work just fine. I'm going to cut those threads. Now I'm going to be able to just fold that piece over. And as long as your fabric has already been pressed, finger pressing will be all that you need. Unroll. And add my next piece, matching up those edges. I'm going to start off of that edge and stitch all the way down. And I'm always going to start off of this foam. Just smooth that fabric as you go along and just make sure that you keep that folded over. When I've stitched off, I can cut my threads. So I now have that second row done. Fold that over and put my next one. So I'm going to do all of one side. Match up, stitch, and flip. I have all of my strips on and with that last strip I do have a little bit left over. Now I could add a second piece but it's really not enough so I will be stitching this one edge down and when I trim it off I will trim it off keeping that in mind. So what I have done is I have quilted and stitched this all together in one piece. I have the one side done. I'm going to be able to roll this side up and start working on the second side. Just close pin this out of the way and this was the very first piece that I started. Get my second pile and start all over. Now I'm doing a rainbow color, but you can do it any way you want, and you can use any colors you want. This would look beautiful in black and whites, blue and golds. I don't think there's a color this would not look good in. So match up the pieces, and now I'm going to stitch the other side. I did buy these clamps at the dollar store, and they really do help keep everything out of the way, and now I have all of the pieces stitched on that rug. I'm going to stitch down the sides by turning it over and repeating that row of stitching that I did right there along that edge. And that's going to secure all of those edge pieces. Now that that top is stitched onto the foam, I'm going to just trim off all of those edges. With those long edges trimmed down, I will trim off just this little bit here. I'm going to follow the edge of my strip. We will be able to bind this just like we bind any type of a quilt. The foam is very stable. It's not stretching out of shape, so we don't have to worry about doing any additional quilting. It's going to keep this shape, but we do need to finish off this edge with some binding. So use your favorite method of binding, and I'm going to be using more strips from that pack. That finished binding really does add a nice finished look. So our double rainbow starts from the center 
and goes out. It's quilted and stitched all at the same time. Using those pre-cut strips in that NR form really makes us go together quick and easy. The only pressing I had to do was put that back on. The rest was just at the machine, stitch, flip, and keep on going. And now I have this long, fun rainbow rug. My grandchildren are going to just love this. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. I'm on Facebook, Instagram. I do have a newsletter, all under So Very Easy. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.